in the field you're going to come across 12 ounce soda cans. What I do with these is cut the, cut the base of them off, sharp rock or your knife. And so you got a, just got the bottom cut off. You're going to want four 12 ounce cans. The bottom of the can is a uniform thickness. I think the bottom of the can, set it like so. Put the end leg of your table in the center of the can and add just a little bit of water to it. And what that'll do for you is that'll keep the ants and other crawling insects from claiming up on top of your table. And because the bottoms of the 12 ounce cans are all the same thickness, your table will remain level. And we were talking the other day about another means of cooking. Well, another way to boil water. Uh, I just took uh, just regular old-fashioned kiwi shoe polish. Uh, what happens is when you cook with shoe polish at an elevation of 1200 feet above sea level you can get uh, one cup of water to boil in five minutes but the uh, problem with using a 12 ounce can to boil your cup of water in the can has a tendency to want to tip itself over um, you're better off uh, using the shoe polish for changing the color of your arrow shaft or starting other fires uh, in a survival situation uh, because the shoe polish itself once it starts burning it burns itself completely just like a Duraflame log and See if I can get this one started here for you. This one's been sitting out for a while. This one's almost empty. I used this one the other day. Of course, uh, if you have your 12 ounce can with uh, aluminum foil cover to do your boiling in. this one up here. Ideally you really want to brace the brace your pop can with uh, sticks, you know, green branches or rocks would even be better because with the water in the pop can it does make the can top heavy. and put that out. But I had the can buried in the water, buried uh, in the ground a little ways. Uh, and that's why you couldn't see it. And if you wanted to uh, bring paper towels out in the field, uh, take and cut the roll down make it easier for you to pack and then pull the cardboard tube out of the center of the paper towels and then uh, just go ahead and fold it flat like you would toilet paper. Paper towels are just more absorbent. I really like using shoe polish. I don't know whether you can see that but changes the color of the arrow shaft. And for you 3D target archers out there, I know you were having some problems the other day with your arrows sticking in the 3D target. If you uh, take just a single bar of soap and 
run that soap oh, about you know nine inches from the end of your field point up the arrow shaft uh, just a regular bar soap do that about every five shots um, you'll notice a real improvement in uh, the way that you're able to pull those arrows out of those 3D targets and another thing I wanted to mention was with uh, aluminum foil aluminum foil makes uh, terrific scratch pad um, it's also great for cleaning chrome if you have uh, just uh, regular ivory soap in a bucket but uh, another wonderful scratch pad is just good old fashioned pine cone and the last thing I want to mention was uh, with uh, oatmeal uh, when you buy the Quaker Oats you get uh, 13 servings and one of these is enough to last five days at a cup a day and it's cheaper to uh, buy the Quaker Oats just like that in regular container um, than it is to buy the Quaker Oats uh, with the mixed you know raisins uh, if you're gonna mix raisins in with your oats it's still cheaper to uh, buy the raisins and nuts separately anyway I hope uh, this answers some of your questions and uh, if you have any more feel free thanks for watching my video